Well, over 402, racism is done. In the skin, we have melanin. It's a coloration of skin. Skin is just one co color. It just depends on the content, how much melanin is in the skin. So it just depends on the content of melanin. So it's pretty dumb for Adolf Hitler to organize hierarchies of races based on your your features and how much melanin is in your skin, isn't it? Because these are just families as they've bred from the seed of Noah. Seed of Adam and Eve, seed of Noah, they're just family hierarchies which have built and built up big communities from families. But when it all comes right down to it, it's one family, it's one human race. And to say that, that some races are more superior to others is to knock other members of your own family. And that's pretty dumb. We're humanity. We're Adamite humanity. We're Noahide humanity. And when we go around discriminating against other members of our own flesh and blood, when it comes right down to it, it's dumb and stupid. Yahweh has interesting ideas in separating out Abraham and a seed with his special circumcision covenant. It's interesting. But the Israelites are just as human as me. They have the same DNA from Adam, which I have. They're the same human beings. They can parade themselves with a special eighth day circumcision as a uh, the eighth day of a step beyond the seventh day natural creation order, a step of supernatural, which I like to argue with their theology on things, the eighth day circumcision, their special special eight status. It's just bullshit. They're still the same mind, they're still the same brain which processes information. It's still the same thinking, it's still the same knowledge. They're just human, just like me, just like no hides are humans. And all this parading Jewish pride with a special priestly status is really just a wank in the end. Their religious code of life, I've matched it with the Torah of Noah. Anyone with a decent brain can match the Torah. It's not that complicated. It's just religious ruling for regulating life. That's not hard to do. Iconoclasts over the centuries of mankind's history have done that. It's not an impossible job. It can be done. There's nothing particularly very special about the Bible when it comes right down to it. It's just a book of logical thinking on morality issues. People are capable of repeating the job. It can be done ad nauseum by a developed theological thinker. So don't go around praising the wonders of Hashem in Israel. Any old fucker can have a go.